she asked me uh, to borrow two thousand dollars, and I, and she never asked for money. Then I go, well, but what's it for? I mean, are you are you okay? I, I thought it might be a health issue or something like that. And she goes, no, there's this guy I've been talking to online. I'm like, oh no. And then she goes, no, he's a general, and I'm like, oh god. What's up, Seekers? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCatfish.com. The reason why we really wanted to sit down and talk to you is because we were worried about you. Your son doesn't trust that you believe that this guy is truly a fraudster. Well, I, I you know, I'm wondering if, if Mark Milley is really Mark Milley. In today's episode, we help a woman named Kathy. Her son Nate originally reached out to us by email after continuously trying to get her to realize she's communicating with romance scammers. He's tried everything, from family interventions to even taking her devices away from her. Kathy has claimed several times that she's moved on from her internet relationships, but always ends up going back. Let's see if we can help them out. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Nate. I'm reaching out because I, uh, through my research, found that your site seemed to be the best equipped to uh, find answers for my mother's romance scam situation. She asked me uh, to borrow $2,000 and I, and she never asked for money. At first I said, yeah, sure. But then I, uh, then I go, well, but what's it for? I mean, are you, are you okay? I, I thought it might be a health issue or something like that. And she goes, no, there's this guy I've been talking to online. I'm like, oh no. And then she goes, no, he's a general. And I'm like, oh God. This has been going on um, since about this time last year. She sent money to fake Elon Musk, uh, which makes zero sense to me. $150 in gift cards for his kids, apparently, because they really needed them. I would say September, she started to talk to Mark Milley. Mark Milley got somewhere around $8,000. She's taken out a lot of lines of credit to send them money. So she's having to pay back I think it's $1,400 a month for uh, um, the next year and a half. I noticed on one of the emails that she'd sold whatever jewelry of hers that she could. Although I do get upset sometimes, uh, especially when she's lying. We took her devices away for a week just to uh, um, maybe hopefully just reset her a little bit. And she didn't like that at all. We had found that she was logging in through using other devices, we took her tablet away first, and then she would figured out how to talk to him th through other devices. And uh, she said, well, he's supposed to call me at the end of the week. So if he doesn't call me at the end of the week, I've drawn a line in the sand. That's it, that's it. I'm not gonna talk to him anymore if it's not him. I said, well, what if he doesn't call? Is that also gonna be a, you know, a deal breaker? Yes, it is. I said, well, mom, first of all, he's not gonna call, I don't think, isolating her and uh, not using resources and finding resources such as yourself to get her help. Um, I, I didn't think that was the answer, um, or at least not without trying. Well, Seekers, we had our work cut out for us. Nate was obviously fed up with his mom telling him that she was going to cut things off but she seemed to always give in to sending more money. After getting this email from Nate, we had him set up a call for us to sit down and speak to Kathy face to face. We wanted to understand where she was at with Mark Milley. I'm glad to be speaking with you and, and wanting to get this resolved. We're gonna definitely try to dig in for you, find some answers and some closure. Uh, it's great to have a son like Nate, right? He's, he's great. <laughs> He's yeah. a lot better on the, you know, phones and computers than I am, so. What was your past relationships like before you met this man? I was married to Nate's father for 
13 years and we divorced and then I remarried for 23 years. So now by my choice, I'm divorced. So uh, I've been uh, single now or divorced for 15 years. Tell me about the first time he reached out to you. He wanted to have, you know, a relationship. He was apparently divorced and looking for a relationship. He would email me every morning, sending me pictures of flowers and wonderful messages. And it, it's kind of personal. It's, it's like it was romance kind of things. And, you know, we would talk about my family and his family. It was pretty delightful because I had been without that for many years. When was the first time he asked you for money? He apparently was initially first in Syria at a post. Uh, and in December, he was to be sent home. He decided that he wanted to not use the, the army to be sent home, but a private plane. So I helped finance the plane so he could come home. Uh, $7,000. And I sent it. What was the second time he asked you for money? What was that for? Well, they stopped over in Iraq and then needed more money to get out of there to get back home. When's the last time you sent money to him, Kathy? The army, you know, wouldn't bring him out of there and needed more money to get out of there to come home. So I funded some more money. Um, it was in April, $1,500. They, they wanted me to get another $1,500 loan. And I told them that I would check it out. Well, I didn't. And I told them I did. And that, uh, you know, I would get back to them. Nate's told us that you've received a check, though. I, I did. And they both couldn't be cashed. May 25th, it was then. They wanted to pay me back for what I have contributed. I got two of them. And I can show you both. The reason why we really wanted to sit down and talk to you is because we were worried about you. You're son doesn't trust that you believe that this guy is truly a fraudster before i think he doubted that i was sincere about wanting to you know get to the bottom of it but i am and he's he's a good person to help facilitate because you know i'm i'm not used to these kinds of things you know I think it's possible she's turned the corner. Oh, I am. I think it's possible. No. Do you think it's worth us looking into and kind of running searches for you and showing you that stuff? Well, I, I you know, I'm wondering if, if Mark Milley is really Mark Milley. I mean, all day I've been getting messages from Mark Milley. Did you get the loan yet so I can get out of here. And then also from Bell Red, the agent, do you have any updates on the loan, the $1,500 that I'm supposed to send? The reason Nate was shaking his head the whole interview was because Kathy had been to this point before and ended up getting scammed multiple times after. You could tell she just needed more confirmation. Being a single person my age, it was uh, very flattering, but now uh, 
Now I'm feeling the pains. She used to have people who were like high society chasing her back in the 80s. She was a she was a model back in the 80s. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, now she's 73, but I, I suppose somebody could forget, you know, that 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 kind of, you know, that kind of changes over time. You know, some people would say, well, why why would you think that the general would go after you? Well, I, I mean, that what might have been true in the 80s, you know? <laughs> well, you know, for being 73, I don't look 73, although today I'm kind of in my grubs. But no, I dress up quite nicely. I, I still get, you know, should I say hit on by, uh, by uh, guys. It's kind of like I'm just wanting to just get back to just being family and done with all that uh, interplay, romance stuff. We're going to look into this for you, Kathy. Nate, we really appreciate you reaching out to us. We'll make this happen. We'll get you guys some answers. Okay, thanks. All right, Bye. see ya. Bye. Bye. The next day, our team sat down to go over all of Kathy's information. We were determined to get her to realize that this guy was a fraud. We are missing a few members from our team this week. David and Brienne had been traveling for vacation, but don't worry, they'll be back for next week's video. So we just met with Nate and Kathy. Um, they shared their story. What can we do to prove to her that this is a romance scam? Brie and I can sit down and do some research to see if the timelines match up and if there's any few points to disprove his stories that might do the trick. The problem that I'm having right now is that Kathy actually has yet to send any additional information. Um, and I spoke with Nate and he said that she, might, she may be keeping information from us to protect them. If she were really, um, absolutely convinced that they were scammers i mean she she wouldn't think of them that way right which is really confusing to us because we assumed she was aware this is a scam i will say that it is possible she was uh deliberately withholding information um either to you know make herself look better or uh to protect the scammers i don't really know i think it's really hard to tell which one of those, if at all, it would be. So good news is that we actually do have some items. We have some photos, a check, and we also have his email address. What do you know about this person in the images? I see his images a lot in romance scams. The next day, Virginia and Bree got straight to work. They dug into everything Kathy sent us. So Nate reached out to us on behalf of his mom, Kathy. Mm -hmm. She's been scammed multiple times before, and now she thinks she's talking to General Mark Milley. Oh, clearly it's not the real Mark Milley, but mm -hmm. let's try and find something to prove that he's not real. Yeah, let's do it. Just looking at the information that Kathy sent over, there's quite a bit of things that we can disprove. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the email address that he's using to contact her, it's not a government email address. So the Gmail email address he was using mm -hmm. is definitely not real. Military general wouldn't use a Gmail account. Right. Yeah. Guess what I found? I found an article that shows that he's not in Syria right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Well, we felt we had everything we needed to get Kathy to come to terms. A week later, we set up a call with Kathy to go over everything that we found about this Mark Milley profile. Stick around until the end. We'll give Kathy the truth. The new one or the old one? This one's the Mark Milley at gmail.com. Oh, well that, that's a new one. And we'll team up with Nate to hopefully break through to her. I asked him and he said he's real. <laughs> that's my mom impression. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe guys. We appreciate you so much. Hi there. Hey, Kathy. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good. Just a little tired. I, I've been working for the last few days, so, um, and I'm not used to it. I'm retired, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm doing fine. Our main focus today is to give you some clarity and some closure through this thing. We wanted to just X out Mark Milley's name from, from this completely, okay? 
Okay. When we last spoke, you said you were confused on if you were truly speaking to Mark Milley. What are some reasons that lead you to believe that this truly is him? He sent like his driver's license, you know, he would like send pictures of himself in his uniform, which he hasn't been in for a long time. We just want to give you clarity and hopefully just put the nail in the coffin on this whole thing so you can move forward with your life. That that sounds wonderful. I'm I'm ready to to have your assistance. Okay. The first thing that we wanted to go over was the email. Yeah, so we use an email verification tool to determine if an email's been used quite often, if it's been flagged for fraud. Um, and we did find out that this email address that he was communicating with you received a fraud score of 80. Most military contacts use the same format across the board. All military personnel must use a specific military format when communicating through email. And this is what that format looks like. There is three variations of the dot .mil format for a military email. Most of the time, if a contact is using a Gmail account, it's because Gmail accounts are free. You can sign up using those with no information um, and anyone can access them. Okay. Yeah, I, I see, I don't, I don't have no idea with military or anything like that, you know, because I've never been in the military, so I have no idea. They have specific formats for emails in the military. So um, his just didn't fit that description at all. So the next thing that we wanted to go over was Mark Milley and his personal life and, and what he's doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The person that you've been communicating with that's claiming that they were in Syria back in January, he needed money to get back home and he was stuck there. We were able to confirm that the real Mark Milley was actually on a diplomatic visit in Oslo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he can't be in two places at one time. Yeah, we did find that he doesn't have any social media accounts at all. He's also been happily married for over 36 years. Well, he told me a, w a long while ago that he and his wife got a divorce. And that... He, you know, then he went overseas, you know, and whatever, and they were no longer married, you know, because I, you know, I had a conflict with communicating with somebody who would have been married. General Mark Milley is the 20th chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the nation's highest ranking military officer and the principal military advisor to the president, secretary of defense and national security council. This man wasn't on a peacekeeping mission in Syria. We later reached out to this Mark Milley imposter by email and we pretended to be someone in the military too. We provided him a link in hopes to grab his IP address. This person replied to us with laughing emojis, but he did get a little scared when we told him that we had his IP address and we knew who he was. He immediately messaged Kathy asking her what was going on and why she was giving out his personal email. You could tell all of this was hitting Kathy. It wasn't easy, but she needed to hear it. I mean, I'm I'm starting to get clarity, you know, and and some of these things are hitting home. And and of course it's not comfortable to hear it, but I mean, it, it's it's a way to hear it and be able to process it and you know, then get some some closure to move on but now he still contacted me you know actually today i i didn't read it uh, in an, in its entirety but he wanted me to to try to go on facebook to speak with him yep kathy after doing all this research we've come to the conclusion that this is a romance scam Okay. I'm a pretty intelligent person, but I got I got duped <laughs> by these things, you know, and I didn't expect that I would, but I did, you know. So, you know, and that's that's my fault. I allowed myself to do it. My my daughters and my son 
told me not to. So, and I should have listened, but I, you know, we got involved, it, it became kind of a, a head. So it was a, a, a brain heart difficulty. You know, in one part of me, I, I cared. And in the other part, I was trying to rationalize and see things for what they really were, not how I was feeling about them. We wanted to leave you with some tools. We just released our new tool. It's called the un it's called Unfraud It. Uh, this tool helps you detect anything fishy you find on the internet. All you have to do is copy and paste what you want the tool to look into, and our AI will do all the analyzing and the work, and it'll spit out the intentions or red flags or uh, you know what type of scam this could possibly be. Um, so you will have. Uh, access to that and we'll get you set up with a social catfish account. I'm I'm ready to heal and move forward and you know I'm I'm so I'm so grateful that there are uh, individuals like you who take the bull by the horn and do their own investigative uh, information to help people like me because I mean I use the internet but I'm not I'm not great at it. You know, we urge you to block him everywhere. Yeah, Nate's saying I think we need to change my email address. We were glad to see that Kathy took everything in so well. Do you think that she'll quit speaking to Mark Milley? Comment down below. With my mom, uh, we're advanced beyond the point of uh, um, where she was at least a few months ago, where it was like, I asked him and he said he's real. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom impression. I've been doing it for oh, yeah. <laughs> since I was a kid. <laughs> Thankfully, you have a son like Nate, and we have so many guests come onto our show and they don't have any family at all. The internet, it can, it can be a really scary place if you don't have an education on how to even indicate if something is a scam or have somebody that's close to you that's maybe can navigate the internet a little bit better than you that can kind of teach you these things. You're in a good space. You have people around you that love you. And um, you also have a great son. And let's just take this as a learning experience, all right? I know I've got a great son and he, you know, he has a criminal justice degree. So he knows his stuff. And he's always been, you know, he's always tried to get to the bottom of things, you know. And, you know, he's been trying to convince me, but I wasn't easily convinced, but, I'm coming around, I'm around now, <laughs> and that's why I'm so willing to cooperate in any way I can to, you know, to try to try to help other women who may be caught up in that net of confusion and, and try to, you know, be straightforward and say, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm a pretty intelligent person, but I got, I got duped. <laughs> by these things, you know, and I didn't expect that I would, but I did, you know, and yeah. thank you so much for your time and effort and, and, and mostly for trying to get to the bottom of some of this and provide clarity for me, you know, on what's been transpiring, you know, yeah. it, it makes me feel a whole lot better. No problem, Kathy. Okay. And I appreciate it, uh, both of you, for spending your time this afternoon. And um, I'll, I'll wait for Nate to get some communication from you guys. Well, I'll talk to you too soon, okay? Thank you. Okay. You take care and thanks, thanks again. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. You too. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Remember, all of our new videos go out every Wednesday, so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, Seekers, we'll see you guys next time.